Good morning, YouTube viewers. I haven't been on for a while. I'm going to show some of my soundtrack collections. I haven't been on for nearly a year. I've purchased some more over the last 12 months or so. So I thought I'll quickly um, show you some of my uh, vinyls, horror, and a few other genres. So basically, today we arrived was Friday the 13th, part two. This is when Vorhors, Jason, is actually in the start of the movies. And this came today. And this is a hillbilly splatter disc. Like that, very nice indeed. I've just listened to it, it's very good. It all sounds similar the same to Friday the 13th, but I do like Friday the 13th on actual, the actual movies itself and the soundtracks. I think I showed you this previously in one of my other videos, but this is the first one. This is on a marble green vinyl. And then we have uh, Friday the 13th, the final chapter, which is number four. I do want to get number three, which, which is a good one. It's a 3D one, the cover. But it's very hard to get hold of that one. This is Friday the 13th, five. Look at that detail. That's amazing. I hope you can see that in this light. There we go. Maybe if I sit back a bit more, you may see it a bit better. And that's another splatter vinyl. Uh, this is the 2018 version of Halloween. And there's Jason again. And Jamie Lee Curtis was in this one, or she was in the, in, in the other ones as well, but this is the remake of the new one. And that's actually this is this is not the whole score of the movie this is parts of the score of the movie and this one here is the expanded edition of halloween which is the full score of the movie with that put ethnic in it which is a very good soundtrack and if you move it along if you can see that light isn't very good i've got it on my silly little phone here it sort of moves the flames and I think that's just a normal coloured vinyl. No, it isn't. It's in um, orange. There we go. Nice. Can you see that all right? Nice coloured orange. And that's that. Um, and then I've got Shockwaves, which is another, another good film by Richard Einhorn. Zombie movie, basically, from the World War Two. This is on blue, basic blue. Unusual sound, but it's pretty good. And that's another one of my purchases since I've last been on the YouTube. I've got the bogeyman or boogie man. Hope you can see that all right. It's not the best of light. So on that nice, this one illuminates actually this disc. And that's another good one. Um, uh, the Burning, exclusive to 200 vinyl copies only. And look at that nice bit of splatter there. Lovely. Uh, this one here is Scanners. And there's Scanners and Breed or something. There's all different. There's two different horror soundtracks on that one. That's another splatter one. You can see that all right. Um, we've got The Dark Knight. Which is Batman, of course. This one here is pretty, pretty um, expensive now, actually. This is the original first, the third, well, the first reissue of it. And this is going anywhere up towards, well, I've seen it, and I've got exactly the same one, up to about 200 pounds, or as low as around about 100 pounds, a win between. That one, we got a bit of Alien.
I've got Aliens as well, the second one. I haven't got Aliens 3 because I don't think they've actually put it on, on uh, vinyl yet, Aliens 3. Um, also, I've actually bought these um, inner sleeves, which are very good. They've got, they're made a bit of rice paper, and when you take it out, you can put it put it in there and then they've got another backing sheet as well and what I tend to do now is I haven't done before but I tend to put my vinyls in the back of the of the uh, actual sleeve itself so it, it, so it stops it from getting ring ring uh, worn you know the ring mark going around so I stick them in the back and that protects them and they're very good you can get them for about 25 pounds uh, the omen that's the last one that is. Just a black vinyl. Carrie. Good film. That's how hard to get hold of this one as well. It's quite rare. Very, very sought after. Just a black vinyl, of course. Good film, actually. The first one's better than the second one. Uh, everyone's heard of a bit of Mad Max. Reissue, of course, not the original, but it's a reissue. But it's on a nice, lovely vinyl there. Look at that colour there. You can see that, all right. Very good indeed. And then we've got the original Halloween, which I've always wanted. Very good copy, no pops or cracks or noises or nothing. And this, the, this one and Halloween 2 is my best films out of the trilogy of Halloween, I think. You can't beat, you can't beat the originals, the first ones or the second ones. Got this one the other week, Halloween 2. Another original. I think this one's 1981, this one, and the other one was 1980. On normal vinyl. Then I've got Halloween 4. Another brilliant one. Can't beat a bit of Halloween, that's what I'll say. Then Holy Grail of the whole lot. Can't beat a bit of The Shining. Got this about three or four months ago. I've been wanting this one and the Halloween ones actually. Um, got, it, got it on the site. But the only the only downside is a little little line they put in the corner there. I don't know if you can see that. A little there. I don't know what this is all about, but apart from that the actual vinyl itself and the rest of the outer sleeve of the vinyl is in good shape. But quite hard to get hold of and they're quite expensive as well, these ones are. You get to get because they didn't do they, they, they didn't do actually make many of these shining records because of copyright laws or with the music. That's what I heard anyway. So they're very hard to get hold of those ones. Uh, where else can I show you? Oh, got the Running Man. Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's done Predator, Total Recall. He's done loads of films, hasn't he? And uh, there we go. Good soundtrack that is. Nice and up upbeaty. And I think that's just on normal. Yeah, it's just normal black, that is. On that one. Uh, Jack Nicholson, The Colour Out of Space. Lovely sound on this. Good film as well. Seen it a few times now. Very good movie. And this is on, I think it's pink. Let's have a look. That's the back of it. There. And then the vinyl itself is a nice pink with all those white. Yeah, look at that bit there going as well, swirling around there. That's a very good, very good vinyl. We must actually change that and put that into one of my uh, new inner sleeves. On that. And then we've got Elm Street 4. See that that glare is not very good. 
Freddy Krueger. See, I'll put them all in the back now. Just, just to protect it from ring wear. Uh, First Blood. Bit of Sylvester Stallone. Seen this film about 50 times. Don't really need to watch it anymore. So I just know by heart what they're even going to say. Can't beat that. This is the best Rambo, First Blood. And then the First Blood, I think Rambo 2 is alright. And then it starts going. Well, no, the Rambo, the new, slightly newer one was pretty good. But this one is the best one. Very good. Poltergeist. You may have seen a few of these on my other videos. I can't quite remember what ones I've shown you, which I am, but I've got a lot more up there where my other soundtracks are to show. I've got some more up there. I need to pop them out and show you on my next video. But I've just shown you ones I've got here at the moment in hand. See if I've got anything else I can show you. Exorcist 2. I've got the reissue of the first one up there. I'll show you the next time. All the cast on there, um, and then Rosemary's Baby, which is another good movie. Pretty good at this, actually. Very good. And um, a bit of Amityville Horror. Right, that'll be it for today. But I've got, I'm going to get some more out and do another video very soon. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care now. Thank you.